Hi everyone, welcome back on our YouTube channel Vance Vlogs. Uh, you already know that we have started uh, a video series for the preparation of Iron Burgerung test in English. Up till now, we have already uploaded uh, seven videos for that. Uh, four plus two, six, seven, eight videos for that. And today will be the ninth video. Uh, currently, uh, we are we are covering the topics uh, or the questions which are related to the German laws, German government institutes, and basic human rights in Germany, uh, which is our topic number three. For this topic number three, we uh, our video number seven and number eight was related to topic number three. Um, our uh, first topic was about German history, starting from the Second World War and then related to the current situation of Germany. The second part was about the German democratic and election system. Part 1 had four videos. Part 2, which was about German democratic system and election system, had two videos in total, six. And then this part, which is about German law and institution, we have already uploaded two videos for that. A today's video will be ninth. Then one more video will come for this topic. Then our topic number three will be finished. And then we will upload uh, video number 11 which will be the only video for topic number 4 after uh, 11 videos we will start to cover the state questions uh, each state has 10 questions 300 questions are journal and 10 questions are state, spe state specific <coughs> sorry so if you want to cover any specific state then you can write in comment section so that we will cover your state first if your exam is very near then we will cover all the states anyhow in a systematic manner so that was a basic intro and let's start the first question for today video number three question number 61 so in Deutschland is ein Bürgermeister ein Bürgermeister in, in Germany if uh, the Bürgermeister Bürgermeister is the leiter the leiter in eine, Schu eine Schule he is a uh, uh, you can say a head or leader or senior teacher or a controller whatever you say in a school no he is a chef he is a boss male or female in a bank no he is over overhaupt in uh, uh, um, he is a head or overhaupt means chef or a boss uh, of a gemeinde of a community local government this option is correct we already know you are already living in a gemeinde then you know that you will have a or a you you have already a bürgermeister and uh, that bürgermeister actually is responsible or is a leader of um, uh, a local government then the term comes uh, über bürgermeister <coughs> and then uh, minister president or chief minister of your state it works in this way but burgermeister what exactly burgermeister is he is a uber hopped he's a chef of a local government of a local municipality gemeinde he is a fourth citizen in the party fourth citizen means chairman so burgermeister is a chairman of any party this option is also not correct the only correct option is burgermeister or burgermeister in is a Oberhaupt uh, is a chef or a boss or a mayor you can say if you want to say specifically of a mayor or head of a local government or local community. Welches Amt gehört in Deutschland zu Gemeinde Vermaltung? Which one of uh, Amt mean office or bureau office uh, government office uh, is responsible for Gemeinde Vermaltung for the local government uh, for the local government management? So, far armed uh, parish office related to some religious activities. Uh, finance armed is also Vermaltung mean management regulation. Finance armed is for financial matter. Auswärtig armed auswärtig mean foreign foreign office is for foreign matters far armed is more into a religious matter ordnance armed actually is a, is a department which is responsible in any local government any local small community look for them is a look for the matters of the management you can say regularity if you have part car in a wrong way and if you are not uh, managing uh, like the stuff related to um, your garbage and everything so ordnung armed actually is the name suggests ordnung they will take care of ordnung so the other three departments are either on a land price level or on a bigger level finance armed for sure is not for a local community it is for a big city uh, 
a city can have more than a big city can have more than if a to 10 game id or even more and finance armed is normally for a big city so finance armed is not for related to game id for valdung for the management for the maintenance for the taking care of a local community this is ordnung armed far armed finance armed house fighting armed they are all around different level ordnung armed is the lowest level uh, like game id is the lowest level in any german system on the top we have uh, federation then come states then land kreis you can say and then game id or your local community so ordnung armed is specifically related to a game id or local community ordnung armed is the correct answer our next question is frauzeger become ein kind uh, a lady her name is frauzeger uh, she has a child was muss sie tun um elten geld so erhalten geld i think here we have <laughs> written k should be l geld money so what should should she do to get elten geld in germany we have stipend for parents for for children as well known as kindergeld so how will she get what should she do to get the uh, elten geld the money in the stipend for the parents she must an ek krankel ka sahibhan she she must write to her health insurance company to uh, uh, give her the elten geld or the parent stipend this answer is not correct krankel ka se or uh, your health insurance is only related to health matters and uh, elten geld normally should be a responsibility of the government not some krankel ka se or health insurance companies zimus einer antrag by their elten geld stellen antrag mean uh, antrag is a typical german term we used to submit an application uh, antara can be of anything antara for your open thal title for your resident permit for your uh, kinder geld so she should submit an application there is a stele there is a specific office in your burger amp which is elten geld stele so you have to uh, she or she uh, she must have to uh, submit an application in elten geld stele which is parental allowance if you see in english so then uh, they will like they will check the documents and then will uh, dedicate a specific allowance uh, for her so this option is correct she must need to then she become automatically elting and it's also not not possible in germany uh, even anywhere in the world you can not get anything if you uh, never put some effort so uh, you have to inform the authority that you are a mother now she is a mother now and then uh, then she will become uh, the elton girl so she she must need to uh, like <laughs> uh, she doesn't need to do anything she will become automatically uh, this parental announce this option is also not correct she must uh, thus arbeits armed um erlaubnis bitten bitten is to request she she must have to request arbeits armed that means employment office your uh, job center or arbeits armed um erlaubnis to get the permission <laughs> for elton geld arbeits arm has nothing to do with the elton geld you don't even need a permission of arbeits arm normally from arbeits arm we need a permission uh, whenever we are starting a new job they check our documents and like uh, they are, they have different responsibilities they help you to find a job and something like this uh, we will cover all the topics in <laughs> upcoming questions but anyhow this erlaubnis she never need uh, from arbeits arm the correct answer is zimus uh, Einen Antrag bei der Eltern Geld stelle stellen. So, our next question is: Wo uh, müssen Sie sich anmelden, wenn Sie in Deutschland umziehen? When you are moved to Germany, uh, when you are moved in Germany, or you can say, I will, um, I will explain it uh, like in uh, not in a specific way, but for example, you are moved within Germany anywhere, or you are new to Germany, or you are already living in Germany and change your city. so where you should register yourself by ein von ein wohner meldamt there is a city registration office also commonly known as rathaus uh, uh, so this done by ein wohner meldamt ein wohner resident mail to register armed office so there is a there is a right rathaus you can say or ein wohner meldamt resident registration office there you have to go and register yourself and inform them that you have been moved to the city kindly register me 
by Sterner Sam. Sterner Sam is a registry office normally used to register your marriages and some other other matters. Sterner Sam is a registry office normally for the marriages and for some other purposes it is being used but not for uh, city registration or if you are moved by Ordnungamt. Ordnungamt is, uh, is related to a local community, local gemeinde. Uh, it is for maintenance and you can say regularity, check and regulation of a local community. It has nothing to do with the city registration. Gewerbe Amt is a Gewerbe is business or Amt is office. So you have if, if you want to do some business in Germany, then you have to take permission from Gewerbe Amt. Gewerbe, Gewerbe is business. So uh, trade office or business office, they also have nothing to do with the city registration or and meldung when when like uh, when you have done umzug the only correct option is first one when you are moved in germany or when you have moved within germany you have to re inform your local einwohner meld up to your rathaus uh, city registration office that you have you have you are new in this city kindly register me let's move to the next question thus uh, <coughs> beruf's information centrum bez biz by their bundes agentur for arbeit <coughs> sorry um, in Deutschland helped by their okay so many of you already know this Bundesagentur for Arbeit they are responsible uh, mm -hmm. uh, if you are looking for a job you can go to them even they offer you some language courses and uh, they, uh, they they offer uh, you some uh, if you if you have some problems you are unemployed for Arbeit Los Geld and Bundesagentur for Arbeit so this is uh, every city normally or every crisis uh, uh, has a Bundesagentur for Arbeit which help to find a new job uh, new jobs and then matters related to the employment and unemployment there is a specific department in this Bundesagentur for Arbeit thus Beruf's Information Centrum Biz so what exactly this specific uh, department or a part of Bundesagentur for Arbeit which is Biz what, what are the tasks of Biz so they are asking here what is what exactly is the task of biz beruf information centrum uh, which is a part of bundesagentur for arbeit is it for rent and berechnung uh, rente uh, means uh, rent is um, for retired people who are already retired so rente berechnung means pension calculation it is the task of uh, biz anyhow it cannot be even a task of bundesagentur for arbeit maybe uh, you have to do it yourself but normally there is a different department for rent for the channel layer is telling so layer is telling mean apprenticeship positions or openings layer is telling is a term which is used for apprenticeship or house building openings so search so normally biz uh, which is a part of bundes agenda for harbite helps uh, specifically in the area of house building to find uh, the position of house building or apprenticeship for the students so it is a task of bundes agenda for harbite's part biz is so well clear uh, you can hire a uh, private historia uh, berater or tax advisor for that it is not a task of bundesagentur for arbeit or biz kranken versicherung is also a different department maybe even you can simply if you don't know about biz you can simply see rente abrechung historia klärung kranken versicherung these all are a different department they have nothing to do uh, with your uh, agentur for arbeit department so the only correct option is layer stellen mean apprenticeship opening or apprenticeship position so okay they help uh, the students or the people uh, German citizens you can say or those who are living in Germany not even the citizens uh, to uh, find the apprenticeship or op uh, apprenticeship opening or house building openings in different companies so our next question is wohin muss man in Deutschland so as guest uh, gain when man heirat and when uh, you want to marry in Germany you want to register your marriage in Germany where must you go first where you have to go I know that uh, Meldamt we know it is about city registration it has nothing to do Ordnungamt is also uh, for a local game and a local community for the regulations and maintenance so uh, Agentur for Arbeit is related to the matter of jobs and uh, trainings uh, vital building you can say extra trainings so assume uh, stand assumed whenever you want to uh, get married in Germany if you want to marry then you have to register your marriage in a department registration office which is known as stand assumed so this is the correct option our next question is by version of Musman in Deutschland in the regal sign and hund and melden if you have a dog uh, in Germany where you need to register it by fin finance armed 
uh, is not a correct option it's for the uh, financial matters iron owner meldamt is a registration office but for human beings by their commune uh, commune strat or gimande whenever you have a dog uh, it has uh, like uh, the possession of dog has nothing to do with finance armed ein wurde meld armed or even gesund heights armed uh, which is uh, health office gesund heights armed the only correct that like, you have a dog then you should go to the your local community your local stud your city game or gemeinde your uh, local municipality or commune which is also known as commune so uh, there you have to go and register your dog over there so it is the correct option the other three options anyhow they have nothing to do normally <laughs> they treat the human beings only finance armed ein oder meld armed gesundheit armed but when you want to register your dog uh, or any other animal then it has um, it is a matter of uh, your local community your local government uh, known as commune system in germany i have already explained you in germany on the top level we have federation or federal bund and then states Uh, your landtag or your states bundesland then land kreis you can say cities and then come commune gemeinde or local community our next question is uh, mike unse bile wohnen mit freunden an ihrem deutschen wohnort eine demonstration auf der straße abhalten uh mike and sibele they want uh, with their friends they want to uh, arrange abhalter mean to hold to keep to do you can say uh, they want to uh, uh, do a demonstration they want to do a protest um, uh, on the streets was musan ji for her to what they have to do Uh, beforehand for her mean beforehand or before arranging a protest what they have to do in advance the musen the demos uh, demonstration and meld this option is correct they have to register their protest the time location and how many people will be there in the protest everything uh, this information should be given to the uh, relevant armed or authority they have to register a demonstration so that authority can take the relevant actions arrange the place for them anyhow uh, in any democracy demonstration or protest is your right demonstration or protest is your right so you can do this but you have to register it the mission is to man darf in deutschland jeder side über all demonstrieren they have nothing to do as in germany man darf in deutschland jeder side every time you were all demonstrating that you can do protest uh, anywhere everywhere wherever you want with how many people even on the streets uh, blocking the traffic this option is not correct jeder side is not allowed there should be some specific time specific location and then you have to register it as well Sie können gar nicht tun, denn Demonstrationen sind in Deutschland grundsätzlich verboten. They cannot do anything because in Germany protests are grundsätzlich mean as per law, as per very basic law. Uh, it is forbidden, verboten. It is also not correct. Germany is a democratic state. In democratic state, you have the right to protest. Uh, so this option is anyhow not correct mike und sibele müssen einen neue verein gründen mike and sibele have to um, uh, uh, found a new association new club while not verein demonstrieren dürfen because in germany only clubs only association are allowed to do the protest this option is also not correct in germany any citizen can go to protest it is not uh, the, uh, uh, the primary requirement that there should be a club or there should be an association only those people who belong to uh, some clubs some associations some parties they are allowed to protest anybody is allowed to protest so it is not a correct option that nur für eine demonstration only the association or clubs are allowed to do the protest so the correct option is they have to register here their protest next question is i have par most in deutschland i in restaurant er often there is a pair and they want to open a restaurant uh, in germany was braucht es das so unbedingt was what exactly they need unbedingt mean absolutely uh, obligatory clearly what they need for that the so for that i need a lobness their police i need a permission from police no police is uh, not the relevant authority for that if you want to open a restaurant maybe if you want some to complain uh, you want to file some uh, complain or you have some other uh, legal matters then maybe police but for restaurant opening no i need a genehmigung einer partei they need a permission genehmigung is permission or approval from political party this option is also not correct 
eine Genehmigung, dass <lacht> Einwohner meldet haben. They need a permission from a registration office, uh, from the city registration. This option is also not correct. Eine Gas Staten Erlaubnis von der Zuständigen Behörde. Uh, Gas Staten mean restaurant, like uh, this gastronomy uh, field. Normally, the term it is used for that. It is about the hotels and restaurant. Gas Staten. रेस्टोरेंट अलाउडनेस दे नीड अ रेस्टोरेंट अलाउडनेस फॉर दे सो स्टैंडिशन बी होडे फॉर मे रिस्पांसिबल रेलेवेंट अथॉरिटी और ऑफिस इन जर्मनी ऑन अ सिटी लेवल वी हैव डिफरेंट आर्म्ड एंड ऑफिसेस एंड दे आर रिस्पांसिबल फॉर अ डिफरेंट टास्क सो डिफरेंट बिजनेसेस फॉर रेस्टोरेंट्स गेस्ट गेस्ट स्टेटन अलाउडनेस फॉर गेस्ट स्टेटन फॉर रेस्टोरेंट अलाउडनेस रेस्टोरेंट परमिशन देयर इज अनदर डिपार्टमेंट यू हैव टू गो टू योर बुर्गर आर्म्ड एंड आस्क देम then your application will be launched how much area you have and what will be your products so then they will give you a permission and then you can open off police political party or city registration rath house they have nothing to do with the uh, restaurants only correct option is this one our next question is by assuming problem in kunan elton in doshan helfe at halton home if if parents are facing some problem assuming uh, mean uh, uh, to uh, 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 like uh, about parenting problems, you can say, or about the brought up of their child, they are facing some problem. They can be of any, either physically, mentally, and their child is facing some problem. So there is a relevant department. Ordnung no Amt is not responsible for that. Schule uh, Amt is uh, your schooling department, education authority. They are also not responsible for that. There is a Jugend Amt, Youth Welfare Office, you can say. Jugend Amt in Germany, which is solely responsible uh, for the problem which are related to the children, the underage children. Maybe even uh, Jugend Amt Gerist is also there, which is uh, youth court. Uh, uh, the if the if the child uh, has done a crime and he is underage, he or she is underage, then there is a separate Uh, you can arm um, garish as well so for, for assume problem uh, for the brought up problem for the parenting problem if they are facing any kind of problem they can have an advice from a shukan arm youth welfare office it is the uh, co responsibility of shukan arm gesundheit arm is a health department they have many things to do they issue some certificates for the health and everything but specifically for the kinder um, assuming problem uh, for the brought up problem for the parenting problem uh, parents can directly go to shukan arm Our next question is by assuming problem in Conan Elton Dorton Healthcare Hospital for this we have already seen they can take from AS or Edsin they can take the help from doctor Gesundheit Amt Environment Amt Jugend Amt assuming problem they if you have health problem then maybe you can go to your um, doctor and if you want some certificates some relevant trainings then Gesundheit Amt health offices for that if you want to register yourself in Germany then Environment Amt Jugend Amt is typically about the parenting problems so this we followed the series in the last question this was the correct option so our next question is was the after shugen arm in deutschland now now we will see specifically about the shugen arm what they do what are their task as and shared it welche schule das kind besucht they decide that uh, which school uh, the uh, child will attend actually it is the uh, typical decision of the parents normally they decide which school uh, is very near uh, to their place where they are living in the vicinity of their working uh, places their offices then uh, so it is the solely or uh, it is a decision of the parents not the jugend arm that which school child will attend as kan ein kind das geschlagen wird oder hungern muss außer familie nehmen this option is correct if there is a child who is being hit by the parents who is being beaten by the parents geschlagen schlagen is to hit the past form is geschlagen with oda hungen mus over he is starving uh, he, he parents have uh, parents have uh, has not given them the food or to eat something he is hungry how's their family name then you can arm come into action and then even they can take your child from you because child is is also a child belongs to the parents but he or she is the property of the german state he is a child of german state as well so jungen arm will take care of him or her so if there is a child who is being beaten or is starving uh, since a long time and if if he, if he or she tells somebody and jungen arm come to know about this they can take your 
child from you. This option is correct. As bizarre the kindergarten and the entrel, kindergarten is a different kindergarten style. They give you the kinder kindergarten or child child stipend. They are not responsible. You uh, cannot be so responsible for that. It's a different institute. As control yet of the skin, either kindergarten be zoot. Kindergarten um, like they control that if the child is attending the ch uh, kindergarten or not. Actually, kindergarten is not uh, ne never comes under the school list or mandatory schooling. If there is a school, uh, school. If, if child is visiting a school or not, this would could be a responsibility, but still not human arm. It is from the state, from the Gemeinde. They will take care of this. So, uh, but kindergarten in Germany is not mandatory. It's a totally a decision of parents. This we will see in the next questions. That if parents, uh, if parents want their child should visit kindergarten, then they can. But it's not a mandatory. But from S T class, if first school, school school is flushed mandatory. Then state comes into action, and then they ask you as well why your child is not going to school and everything. So, but you can arm any house not responsible for uh, the school system. If the ch child is being beaten or is starving for a long time. Then, uh, young and arm can take um, him or her from the parents. Our next question is: When man in Deutschland ein Kind schlägt, if you have beaten your child in Germany, what will happen? Get das name under it was an uh, angehen. Uh, actually, angehen is a verb. Uh, this is trennbar uh, or uh, they have broken. They have broken this word. This is angehen. It is concerned. So they are saying, if you hit your child, uh, get us name under it. It is not a concern of anybody. An angehen to concern to tackle. So it is not a concern of name under of anybody. No, it's a concern actually of a young adult. Get us not the family. It was an. It is only the matter or concern of family. No, child is belongs to the state, German state. So, can man the food nicht be stopped for that? That you will not be punished for that. If you hit your child for that, you will not be be stopped, punished, or fined. This option is also not correct. Can man the food be stopped for that? You can be punished for that. Even they can take your child from you. This is quite possible. So, uh, if you are uh, uh, if you are beating your child, if you are hitting your child, then you are giving him some physical punishment. Then maybe. Uh, if the younger time come to know, they can punish you as well. Some fines, even they can take your child away from you. Next question is: The assuming the kinder in Deutschland is for alam of kabe, and this uh, brought up of children, brought up, take care of children is uh, for is the top priority, is the top task of which start starts. No, el eltern actually eltern or oh, oh, the children, the child, so. They have to take care of them. Do, uh, they, like their uh, state is providing you eltern gel, yeah, yeah. That means parent statement, uh, kinder gel, child statement. So you have to take care. The as young and take care. So everything. This is the core responsibility of the parents. Note of state, for example. Uh, but parents like their upbringing, or you can say nurture education. Assuming is a is a is a massive word, and we have many definitions in the rate like upbringing of your child, education of your child, parenting, everything. So this is a core responsibility of the parents. Close children, maybe they can take care of uh, uh, their uh, uh, the uh, uh, close children can take care. Actually, they, uh, they are not core responsible. Maybe if parents are not more in the world, there will be some department or association uh, who will be. Uh, taking care of uh, your children, but anyhow, your gross children, grandfathers, grand grand grandparents, grandfather or grandmother, they are not responsible for their grandchild, uh, for the parenting. If any of uh, parents, children are responsible for that. They shouldn't even school is not the school is responsible for the schooling, schooling not for the upbringing of the child. So, children are responsible for that. Next question is where is in Deutschland how established a parent portal for the kinder at young? This we have already seen. Same as the last question, but with a different text. Who is responsible? How established? Uh, how how established? Who who is totally responsible? Or who is who is totally responsible? Fair and what is mean responsible uh, for the upbringing of child? State fair wanted means relatives, children, school no elders. We have seen their parents are responsible. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वज गिल फॉर द मायसन किंडर इन डोटलैंड वट इज वट इज लाइक नॉर्मली देर इज यू कैन से मैंडेटरी आई वुड से फ्लिस्ट वट इज गिवन और वट इज वट इज वैलिड फॉर मैनी चिल्ड्रन इन जर्मनी माई स्टैंड फॉर ऑलमोस्ट एवरी चिल्ड्रन इन जर्मनी वॉल फ्लिस्ट लाइक दे हैव टू गिव द वोट एनी हाउ चिल्ड्रेन आर नॉट अलाउड टू वोट इफ दे आर अंडर सिक्सटीन और अंडर एटीन वॉल फ्लिश दे हैव इवन इन जर्मनी वी डोंट हैव एनी वॉल फ्लिश इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो यू कैन कास्ट द वोट इफ यू डोंट दैन डोट वॉल फ्लिश इज नॉट शूल फ्लिश कंपल्सरी एजुकेशन दिस इज अ मोस्ट अ मस्ट फॉर मैनी चिल्ड्रेन शुएगी फ्लिश मीन कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन सम क्वेश्चन बैक शुएगी मीन कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी और सीक्रेसी कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी दिस ऑप्शन इज ऑल्सो नॉट करेक्ट रिलीजियन फ्लिश रिलीजियस ड्यूटी इज द मस्ट फॉर अ चाइल्ड नो द वट इज मस्ट फॉर अ चाइल्ड विच इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ स्टेट एज वेल शूल फ्लिश द कंपल्सरी एजुकेशन ऑफ अ चाइल्ड सेकेंड ऑप्शन Our next question is: In Deutschland, hard uh, iron kid in the school. Uh, in, in Germany, uh, if there is a, a, ch- a child in a school, then rest of unbegrudging se fahay height. What he has, he is a right of unbegrudging se unlimited free time. No, in school we have lectures, we have classes. So unlimited free time is not a right of a child. He has to attend the he or she has to attend the classes as well. This option is not correct. Wall fahay height for all of us that he can, he he is the freedom. Wall fahay height to choose, uh, freedom to choose all of us. Fashion means subjects. So uh, he can he has complete freedom. to choose any subject he or she wants no it's it's also not correct in germany some uh, some uh, fashion or some for lesson you can say some subjects are mandatory like like uh, history math physics language some courses are mandatory and some in even in language uh, you have to do two languages for example english is a must and then second language you can select so वॉल फाय हाइट फॉर ऑल एफ एशा डेट ही कैन चूज एनी सब्जेक्ट ही और शी कैन चूज एनी सब्जेक्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट करेक्ट अनस्प्रोक ऑफ शोल गेल्ड इन शोले शोले इज स्कूल इज नॉट रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर शोल गेल्ड लाइक यू आर एंटाइटलमेंट टू स्कूल फीस इवन एनस्प्रोक मीन क्लेम या डिमांड या रिक्वायर्ड सो शोल गेल्ड ही आदर ही नीड टू पे सम फीस टू द स्कूल दिस ऑप्शन इज नॉट करेक्ट इन जर्मनी मेजोरिटी ऑफ स्कूल आर स्टेट ऑन स्कूल सो चाइल्ड नेवर नीड टू पे अ फीस अनविजन अनविजन हाइट फ्लिश मैंडेटरी अटेंडेंस अनविजन हाइट मीन अटेंडेंस सो मैंडेटरी अटेंडेंस वट इज फ्लिश इन जर्मनी इन स्कूल फॉर अ चाइल्ड इज मैंडेटरी अटेंडेंस ही हैज़ टू अटेंड द स्कूल शूल फ्लिश विच इज नोन एज सो दिस ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेर डिस्टिंग इन डोटलैंड शूल पॉलिटिक वट वट डिटरमाइन इन जर्मनी या यू कैन से हु डिटरमाइन वेर हु डिटरमाइन इन जर्मनी द शूल पॉलिटिक मीन स्कूल पॉलिसीज अबाउट द स्कूल सो दिस स्कूल सिस्टम स्कूलिंग सिस्टम इज टोटली द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द स्टेट इवन फेडरेशन फेडरल बुंद बुंद स्टाक ऑफ जर्मन पार्लियामेंट और द फेडरेशन इज नॉट रिस्पॉन्सिबल द ओनली लाइक द ओनली टेल डेट स्कूल आर मैंडेटरी दैन एवरी स्टेट कैन डिसाइड बाई देयर ओन अबाउट देयर करिकुलम स्कूल एक्टिविटीज ड्रेस कोड्स स्कूल टाइम इज एवरी थिंग सो स्टेट इज इंडिपेंडेंट इन मैनी मैटर्स मे बी इन सम मैटर्स लाइक फॉरन मिनिस्ट्री यू कैन से फाइनेंस करेंसी एंड डिफेंस दीज आर द मैटर्स ऑफ द फेडरेशन बट द अदर मैटर्स आर टोटली इन जर्मनी द स्टेट्स आर इंडिपेंडेंट सो स्कूल पॉलिसी हु डिसाइड द स्कूल पॉलिटी पॉलिसी टीचर्स नो बुंदिस लैंडा जर्मन स्टेट्स they decide by themselves about the school policy family ministry ministerium the minister of family affairs no university and no school politic about the school policies is a totally decision of states and they are independent in that next question is was is in deutschland for alm eine aufgabe in bundesland uh, which of the following is above all the most important task of a german state for tadung politics defense politics defense policies you can say it's not the responsibility of uh, german states it comes from the federation from the berlin from the federal federal government ausen politics mean foreign policy it is also being decided and drafted in federation wirtschaft politics economic policy economic policy is also a part 
a core department, a core part of the federation. In, in any uh, democratic system, in any country, you have different states. If you have state uh, autonomy, then federation will only cover two or three main departments. They have ministers for all, but the states are independent. But there are some matters like defense, foreign ministry, and you can say about the economic decision, currency. Then you have to follow the rules from the state itself, uh, 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 from the feder from the federation itself. So, but uh, uh, the school politic, we, as we have seen, the school policy. This is a core decision. School policy is already a core decision uh, for, for the German state itself, as, as we have already seen in the last question. But the uh, the other three, uh, these are a task of you can see states are um, not responsible for that, but the federation on the federal level. The next question is where enshrined or unclean in Deutschland in kindergarten gate. Who, dec who decides that uh, if a child will go in kindergarten or not? KG kindergarten. So <laughs> they start the Bundesländer, Eltern und Erziehung, Berichtigtigen, the Schulen. So who decides actually out of them that who the ch uh, children will go to uh, the kindergarten or not? I think this I, I have already told told you few question back that. Uh, a child will go to uh, the kindergarten or not is a core decision of the parents. School fledged from first class, you have to go to school. This is mandatory. Uh, but kindergarten is a decision, not of a state, not of German state. It's the core decision of the parents or as assuming Berichtigen, those who qualify. Berichtigen, we have already seen this verb to qualify yeah, who are eligible. If if uh, if there there are no um, parents, like even uh, like parents, maybe uh, they are not in this world or uh, they are not there anymore. Then there will be some assuming Berichtigen, Berichtigen who will be responsible. Yeah, who is unable to afford the parenting maybe gross 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 children their grandparents or anybody else then they can decide school will never decide German states will never decide even federation the country will never decide kindergarten if a child want to go to the kindergarten is a core decision of, of the parents and this answer is correct so let's move to the next question our next question is Welchen Schulabschluss braucht man normalerweise um eine Universität in Deutschland ein Studium zu beginnen? Uh, what kind of Abschluss or what kind of uh, the final certificate or the high school certificate which you need to go to university? Maybe if uh, someone of you is uh, familiar with the German schooling system, we have top schooling system, Gymnasium, then Real, then Gesamtschule or then Grundschule. Uh, normally the Abitur, Abitur Abschluss uh, which comes normally normally from gym gymnasium the top schools or sometime from real as well then uh, uh, those who have the high school certificate from from this gymnasium known as abitur they only can go to university if you have a, an abschluss from some real i guess then you can go to the uh, hochschule or high school high university but then who are not from these two then normally they go to apprentice they go for apprenticeship or ausbildung as well so if you want to go to university in germany then you should have this abitur which is the highest high school certificate the best certificate in germany for your high school which is abitur diploma uh, is a different term Prokua is about the state exam gesellen prüfung is also um, uh, normally related to uh, a kind of state exam for some specific field but uh, the highest certificate school which you should have to go to university in Germany is thus Abitur Abitur Abschluss which links to the gymnasium schooling system so if you want to know about German schooling system then you can google it as well but Abitur is the highest and best, best Abschluss or the high school certificate which leads to the university studies so our next question is in Deutschland haben Kinder ab dem Alter von drei Jahren bis zu erste Einschulung einen Anspruch auf. In Germany the, ch the children uh, from the age of three till erste Einschulung that means first schooling class that is erste class your first one class uh, from the age of three till the first class they have einen Anspruch 
right or uh, requirement or you can say they are eligible uh, they they have a right of monthly fees taxation geld monthly pocket money you know there is a term of kinder geld but it is not like till first class this is it is still the child is 18 year old i guess so anyhow this option is not correct ainam plats and ainam sport fair ain it's totally a decision of and uh, the parents if they want to register him in a sports club uh, like it is not mandatory that he, if if he is not able to find a place in a sports club then still they will give him a uh, place or uh, some some membership of of the club so it is not uh, there uh, like it's a kind of free will like if you want to register your child in sub club then you can if you don't want then it's fine and then kindergarten plot it is the responsibility of your gmind like child for, like it's not compulsory it's not mandatory but if but child has a right to go to the kindergarten if parents decide that my child will go to the kindergarten De- then uh, the kindergarten plots actually the child has a right to get a kindergarten kindergarten plots a seat uh, in any kindergarten which 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 is in their area so uh, it although it's not mandatory till first class from the 3 till the first class it's not mandatory that every child should attend the kindergarten it's totally decision of their parents but if we decide then uh, a place in kindergarten is the right of a child and then ferian pass uh, like vacation pass or <laughs> it is also not correct till the age of stay so long like he will get some vacation pass to travel um, in old law this option is also not correct kindergarten plots is the right option in deutschland uh, in germany darf man so gleichen side nur mit einem partner einer partnerin verheiratet sein in germany at a time uh, a person can can at a time glycine glycine site at a time can only marry with one partner on one partner this answer is correct in germany in standard armed if you are registered you can only register your single marriage one marriage that legally uh, uh, you have one partner or one partner at a time this option is correct can man mere air partner air partner in glycine site is option this, this option is not correct maybe if you are married uh, with with two different people like you have two partners but in certain sum the legal legal marriage or the registered marriage which only be one so uh, this option is not correct can can have many at the same time mere air partner uh, more than one partner taf man nist fide fe high right and when man einmal verheiratet war if you are already <laughs> if you are married once then you are not allowed to marry again for example if your partner has left you or maybe uh, he or she is no more with you no more even in this world then you can marry again this is not correct and you are not allowed to uh, remarry darf eine frau nicht wieder heiraten wenn ihr mann gestorben ist a woman is never allowed to marry again if her husband is dead gestorben has died this option is also not correct if her husband is no more in this world then she can marry with uh, the uh, uh, other man so this option is also not correct only the correct option is in germany only at a time you can register or you can have one partner one one partner with you uh, or if i interpreted then in standard armed uh, you can register only one marriage at a time so only one partner is allowed in germany the next question is welche lebensform in deutschland nicht erlaubt which of the which form of living is germany is not allowed man und frau sind geschieden und leben mit neuen partnern zusammen men and women husband and wife they are uh, sind geschieden scheiden ist to divorce so they are divorced they are separated already and uh, only leben mit neuen partnern zusammen and living with their partners this is allowed in germany if if you have decided to divorce then you can live with your partner so i found leben zusammen this is also allowed legal in germany the two uh, ladies or two gents to women or two men are living together this option is also correct this is allowed in germany ein uh, ein alleine erzieherin father left uh, left mit seinen zwei kinder zusammen uh, ein uh, allein erzieherin means single parent single parent father maybe his wife uh, has left him or she is uh, she is no more so uh, a single parent father is living with two children together it is also allowed in germany if he is uh, responsible for for the parenting of 
uh, of their uh, of his uh, children then this uh, this is allowed in germany a uh, uh, father can live with which with children so it is allowed in germany ein man is mit zwei frauen so self and side for right there is a man who is married with two women at the same time this we have already seen in the last question this is not allowed in germany you uh, like you cannot have two partners at the same time or better to say in standard sum uh, if you have registered so this option will be more better if you can say but legally in germany you cannot have uh, two partners a man for example cannot have two partners at the same time the next question is in deutschland dürfen ehe paar sich scheiden lassen in germany uh, partners married couple they have decided that they uh, they will be separated to get divorced meisten müssen sie das so das trennung jahr einhalten many of them actually have to take care of uh, einhalten uh, is to observe to take care of a trennung jahr which is a separation year trennung separation year was bedeutet das what does it mean the scheidung process dot ein year this separation process or divorce process normally takes one year this option is not correct it uh, it can it can be very less than one year or even can be more than that but it is not correct mein und frau sind ein year verheiratet dann ist die scheidung möglich if it is mandatory then first of all they are married for one year they have lived for one year together then it's possible then uh, then they can they can be separated or divorce is possible this option is also not correct if they have decided within 4 or 5 months it's also possible thus besuch recht for the kinder guild ein jahr that if the they are separated then uh, besuch recht the right to visit their uh, his or her child is only uh, valid once in a year this option is also not correct if you are separated and you are, you have a child as well and child is living with a mother then father can visit him uh, once in a month or every week whenever whenever this, this they, they decide but once in a year this option is also not correct husband and wife man und frau führen medicine ein jahr getrennt ja eigenes leben for training jahr mean the husband and wife should live their life separately for one year one year they live separately and then they decide that either they want to divorce or not this is known at typical time in germany tenus jahr man und frau führen mindestens ein jahr getrennt ihr eigenes leben they have to live their own life separately for one year then uh, then the divorce is possible then they can decide so this option is correct the other three options are anyhow not correct was braucht man in deutschland for eine ehescheidung Uh, for the divorce what do you need in germany and the einwilung the eltern you need to get permission or consent from the parents it you are <laughs> no it's this option is not correct uh, maybe they can help you to uh, develop good relationship again but uh, if you have decided then you are uh, mature enough to decide yourself so this is not correct that you need consent from your parents ein atas eine arzt so Asking, they need a certificate. A test means certificate from a doctor or a physician. This option is also not correct. The Einwilung, their kinder, uh, the permission or you can say consent uh, from the from the children. This option is also not correct. The Unterstützung, ein Anwalt, ein Anwaltin. In Germany, uh, normally when you decide to divorce, then you should hire a lawyer. The legal proceeding or process, known as process, this will go on in the court and then. so that for that you need uh, a legal advice from the lawyer male or female this option is correct you need a support of a lawyer if you want if you have decided for divorce in germany so our next question is first gehört nicht so gesetzlichen social versicherung maybe many of you in germany who are working already in some companies they know that from your monthly income there is some mandatory gazetteation gazetteation mean mandatory as per law social contributions social insurances that is your health insurance known as kranken for the shroom then your unemployment are by laws geld then you have your uh, uh, old age benefit rente for the shroom then you have your social for the shroom known as social for the shroom so different insurances are there which normally are deducted from your monthly income so they are asking was gehört nicht what is not a gesetzlichen social versicherung among them lebensversicherung 
if you have seen your pay slip there is no life insurance amount which has been deducted it's not mandatory it's a privat if you decide you can go for many private insurances in germany but some are mandatory like your car should be registered it should be insured you uh, you should have health insurance and from your monthly income then even gazette say rente versicherung mean uh, pension insurance or old age benefit this is this exist actually are by laws are by laws in versicherung mm, your insurance for unemployment this is also a part of social versicherung social contributions flag a versicherung or you can say nursing care or or health insurance better to say this is also a part of your social insurance leben versicherung this is your own personal decision you don't need to contribute in the so, in a uh, social beitrag or social beitrag or social contribution it is not a part it's a private kind of insurance next question is so welcher versicherung you got the flag a versicherung which which versicherung like flag a versicherung or you can say health insurance kranken versicherung you can say it it is a social versicherung social contribution you can say mandatory insurance unfall versicherung accident insurance house rat versicherung household the stuff in your house insurance for that your insurance for your accidents this all are private insurances you can avail them it's it's good to have insurance in for half flesh on for versicherung liability insurance maybe uh, like you uh, uh, you have damaged some some public public stuff or some food path or even some lifts then how will you pay uh, uh, for the, for the reconstruction of that for the repair of that it will cost a lot so many people in germany normally have half flesh insurance liability insurance as well fire versicherung your fire insurance house rat versicherung household insurance and then unfall versicherung um, uh, insurance for your for any accident but this all are private insurance Fla- uh, the social versicherung uh, flege versicherung uh, belongs to social versicherung they are asking which uh, f- to which category this kranken or flege versicherung belongs to it's a social arbeit losen versicherung uh, your rente versicherung your flege uh, your kranken versicherung or flege or health insurance belongs to social insurance Our next question is: Was bezahlt man in Deutschland automatisch, when man first angestellt? When you have you you first first uh, first angestellt when you have get a permanent employment, permanent contract in Germany, uh, w- which amount is automatically automatisch which you need to pay? Social versicherung. This we have already seen in in few uh, few questions back. Like you have to pay the social contributions. You have social versicherung, uh, like which, which also contains this health insurance. I have already told you your unemployment benefits, old age benefits. So, like you have to pay automatically. Social hilfe. This you never pay. You get actually when you are not working, and you are in some crisis. Then government will help you. Will will give give you social help. Even kinder geld, you don't need to pay. You will get the kinder geld. Even the wohn geld, uh, the amount for your house rent. This you will get if you are not doing any job and you are in financial crisis. Then government will pay you. But what you have to pay from your monthly income is social versicherung. So our next question is, or the last question of this video, where result in Deutschland is social versicherung. Who normally pays the social insurances? Are by it geba? उन आरबाइट गए बन जन उन आरबाइट नेमा उन आरबाइट नेम एम्प्लॉयर एंड एम्प्लॉय द वर्कर एंड द कंपनी दे बोथ हैव टू कंट्रीब्यूट मे बी मैनी ऑफ यू नो दिस डेट इफ यू आर पेइंग अ पार्ट ऑफ योर हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस क्रांकन फर्जिशूंग योर एम्प्लॉयर योर कंपनी इज ऑल्सो पेइंग ऑल्सो डूइंग अ कंट्रीब्यूशन इन डेट सेम इफ यू आर पेइंग सम रेंटे फर्जिशूंग फ्रॉम योर मंथली इनकम योर एम्प्लॉयर योर कंपनी इज ऑल्सो डूइंग अ कंट्रीब्यूशन इन डेट सो आर बाइड both of your employer your company and you both contribute only uh, only the worker or 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 all all citizens state and go even mean all german citizens or only your company pay no uh, it's not, not all the citizens for example you are working in germany and you are living here since 3 years you are not a citizen but you have to pay for the social insurance anyone who is living in germany must be uh, insured for his health and if he's on he has a car then he should also be, his car should be insured so it is not that only german citizens or nationals will pay the insurances insurance will have contribution from your company as well and from you as well this option is correct so friend this was the last question for this video video number 3 of part number 3 uh, 
or in total you can see video number 9 now the next video will be related to part num uh, part number 3 again about uh, german laws and your uh, your basic human rights and government institutes uh, and then part 3 will be over then we will jump to part number 4 so friends if you have any query any question any doubt you can put it in the comment section and kindly like our video subscribe our channel as well and share it with your other friends and don't forget to like and if you have any query any question any doubt or any feedback you can put in the comment section along with this i will also like to add one other point as some of our youtube viewers have suggested us that uh, we should have our patreon account if you don't know about patreon actually patreon is a membership platform uh, which is uh, which is for the business support of youtubers content creators and bloggers which are uploading their stuff and if their viewers want to support them with as low as one us dollar or one euro then uh, they can become their patreon and can make a pledge with them that they will pro they give them one euro per month or even more am amount more than that so keeping in view those suggestions we have created our patreon account in the description of this video you will find a link of our patreon account so if you want to uh, if you want to contribute uh, in our efforts if you want to contribute some money as low as one euro you can also contribute more amount or lesser amount or even if you don't want you uh, want to contribute it's also fine so if you want to get information over patreon account you you can get it information in the description of this video uh, you uh, like with this patreon account it will really help us to come out with some great stuff for you for some more future projects so uh, friends this was everything for this video uh, i hope you are doing great if you have any query any question regarding uh, this video or the previous videos you can put in the comment section we will try to answer that and then till the next video we will say you very good luck for your iron room test preparation bye